yeah, you can create your GPT right here. You can create actions with a schema in here. Authentication, you can put a privacy. Oh, so you can authenticate with API key. Okay, perfect. Yeah, see, that's what I was hoping you could do. Okay, perfect. So you can do it. Awesome. Awesome. I see. I was wondering because like all the screenshots, but I hadn't messed with it yet. But yeah, if you go into the custom actions, you can go in here and plug in your actual GPT API credentials, and then you can plug your GPT directly into any kind of API, which that by itself is what to me is the secret sauce of this because it's like, yeah, whatever. Like if I really want to sit here and train them and teach them how to talk like Joe Rogan or pretend like it's like, you know, Socrates or something like that is neat. But that to me does not, um, it doesn't really change much. It just gives you a cooler virtual friend. <laughs> like to me, like the real sauce here is how much information can we plug it into? So to me, I would look at it more in the lines of like, plugging it directly into whatever type of software database you could have maybe you know tapping it into i know notion has an ai thing right now but like i could see that being extremely useful is like for companies that start building out really solid knowledge bases for their whole business on how to do everything and then having your gpt plugged into all of that so now your gpt can basically um essentially be like a q a person for your entire knowledge base within your business um you know i think that could be useful i think also another thing that would be very useful is for um maybe on the sales side like loading in as much prospect information as you could load in and then using your gpt is almost like a uh, uh research assistant off of your prospect database that'd be kind of cool um as far as the direct idea myself i don't know man it's like it's like i'm super hype on the ai stuff and now it's like it's not that i'm not uh using it i still use gpt every single day i think for me it's a matter of like what is this going to be able to do that we can't already do just with a language processor. What I would want would be create a conversation of everything that you would need to know to really be able to coach and advise somebody on their decision making and what they need to do to make better decisions or better optimally plan out their day to day, their week to week, their month to month, their year to year type of business decisions as a company or not as a company, as like a CEO or even as an employee. And then basically create that as your kind of like onboarding type get to know you series of questions and then essentially let someone pay whatever 10 to 100 bucks a month for access to this gpt model and then what this gpt model would do is is as soon as you start it would you know ask you some preliminary questions introduce yourself what do you do what's your day-to-day -day look like what are you into what are your passions what are your goals what are all this what is this what is this what is this and basically have this thing as just a non-stop journey of um of understanding to understand an individual and all their day-to-day -day decision making all the way up to their life goals and everything that they're looking to do within their um within their organization um or within their life really as a whole and then what you could do to go back on that is then you could basically create a middle bound almost like a zapier type platform that it's not zapier in the fact that you're creating custom zaps but it's zapier in the fact that this would be just a platform that you would go log in 
and you would go in and connect all your task, project, work management software for. So I would maybe integrate Todoist, I would integrate ClickUp, I would integrate Notion, all my Notion workspaces and label them based off of which company it has to do with. And then I would go through and connect my email, my calendar, um, maybe even my social media or my messaging apps. And then basically I would integrate all of this and after going through this onboarding with this AI, that might take me, I don't know, a week to really fully onboard, you know, hours and hours of questions and conversation back and forth. Um, it would allow me to get to the point that now the AI would not only understand what me as in Sam is trying to do, but also understand you know, maybe my psychological roadblocks, my lifestyle roadblocks, maybe my business roadblocks, whatever is going on. And then it would be able to see the way that I'm planning and managing my schedules. And then it would be able to start offering suggestions all the way to the point where it starts manipulating what's on my to-do list, what's on my calendar, how my meetings are laid out, as well as verifying when I'm in said meetings and verifying when I'm doing certain things. And essentially allow this thing to be in theory like a manager kind of like a manager would manage a recording artist uh, and and that manager would now be able to basically be there as the assistant to help upgrade everything I'm doing now I know that you could play out some black mirror type scripts for a TV show on this shit but if you could do it in a way that it was aggressive enough that it's there and it is and it is uh, not aggressive, assertive enough that it's there and it's easy to access and it's helping you while simultaneously passive enough that it's not trying to actually control your life and it's more letting you control your life and it's there assisting to make your life better. Um, I think that would be one badass um, GPT slash AI app. Um, the reason why I think you could utilize that in a format that you wouldn't want to make it as its own AI app, but you could have it as its own background for integrating, and then the GPT lives in the GPT store, is because that by itself would be A, way easier for onboarding, but then B, you could continuously keep using the, the open AI upgrades and user interface and the way the app's built. Because their app is beautiful, it's all native, um, the voice recognition is amazing. Um, it's quite frankly probably the best mobile app I've seen in the App Store. And I am a snood about this stuff, man. I cannot stand 90% of the apps I ever see built because the user experience is garbage. But somehow all of the nerds and geeks and data analysis at OpenAI made a beautiful mobile app. Um, which is not expected for a company that is purely a real back-end um you know intelligence company like this but they did they did a great job and so to me that would be what i would want i would want an ai assistant somebody that could really be in the nuts and bolts of what everything sam does and continuously help me improve and get better and also be a voice of reason so i don't call my friends at two o'clock in the morning because i'm trying to figure out a project i can just get on the call with the damn ai and we can just talk it back and forth um i think that would be pretty sweet um and it's not because i need more friends i think it would be pretty sweet because as long as and each integration would need its own rollout to do an app like that but you could in theory build using a, uh, the llm build a pretty straightforward understanding and analysis of each of all the data within all the different project task workout you know, any productivity app that it's reading, everything from a notion to to do is to uh, to your workout fitness tracker. Um, and then that would allow that AI to really have a deeper understanding of what's going on. And all you'd be responsible for is continuously adding more and more information into that which if you could build that AI software in the right way, it would know where to put it. You could say, hey, add me a meeting for Tuesday with, uh, with my partner to discuss this project we're working on. 
and it would even create me a task on Monday to get ready for the meeting in the separate softwares. I think that would be fairly simple to do because all those APIs are open and you could do them for most of the major softwares because Zapier has already done it. And the AI would be able to understand the categories and the, the definitions that you wouldn't need to create a Zapier Zap to do all this. You could just give it access, full access on it, and then the AI could do that. Um, now you could make that a whole separate app if you wanted to, but I think being able to use that GPT interface would be a little bit better. Plus it would keep you native right there next to the other AI stuff you're doing. And if you keep it all within this one bot, it would be beautiful because you could keep creating new chats all using the same GPT bot instead of trying to keep it all within one chat thread. Um, now that I've described that all the way, now I really want that. So I hope somebody builds that. That would be sick. Um, obviously, I think that there's probably a lot of ideas out there that I haven't thought of because AI is not quite as relevant to me as I feel like it's, it is other colleagues within the tech world. But um, yeah, and you could call that one, um, you know, LifeBot or something. Or just like give it a code nut name or something. But yeah, that would be my idea for that. Um, do I think it's going to make a lot of millionaires? Of course. Do I think it's got a long way to go? Of course. Do I think it's going to make a great rollout in the next month and someone's going to make a million dollars in the next 90 days off of the GPT store? Of course.